What is going on there once near again? Here for you, some Minecraft for the Xbox 360, and ladies and gentlemen, the day has finally arrived. We have the 1.8.2 update. My goal throughout this video is to show you guys some of the stuff in the update. Obviously, I can't share everything with you guys because I honestly haven't found everything. For example, I'm yet to find a single mine shaft. I found tons of ravines, but no mine shafts. I found a bunch of NPC villages like this, but no mine shafts. But let's talk about NPC villages. It's one of the bigger things for me. I was pretty excited they were bringing this in. Um, whether you're playing creative, whether you're playing on you know survival, whatever you're doing, it's still cool to walk along and randomly find a village. There are no villagers just yet. People are wondering if there's gonna be villagers in this update. There are not. But if you're doing survival, like what I like to do, like I don't know, just something about creative. I mean, it's fun. I mean, people, you know, if that's your thing, you dig it. That's cool. But I like the survival aspect of Minecraft a little bit more. I like gathering resources and building houses and fighting off against mobs and whatnot. And when you're doing that survival and you find yourself a random village, it's a cool thing because there's tons of free resources. You can take all the glass panes like we're gonna find right here. You can take a bunch of wood, you can take a bunch of cobblestone. There's furnaces already built for you. There are uh, workbenches already built for you. So it's a cool thing. Um, one of the biggest things for me, like I said, is survival mode. And one of the cool things about survival mode is we now have the hunger bar. You know, it's right on the right above my inventory on the right hand side of it. Uh, there's a hunger bar and the health is a lot different in the previous version of Minecraft the Xbox You would eat and that would directly affect your health now uh, Eating directly affects your hunger if you are hungry you are gonna need to eat and once your hunger bar gets all the way full Your health will automatically regenerate itself. That's kind of how it works One of the problems I've found with this is one of the cool things I'm like, you know what? I want the cool things gonna be for me to be able to pen animals be able to do farming and whatnot But it's not the case there are fence gates and we're pretty excited about the fence gates and they're playing with it right here fence gate right, but and in Minecraft for the PC, all you'd have to do is grab yourself some hay, like here, and uh, come up here, and hello, hello, come here, come here. No, you don't. You don't want my wheat. You do not want my wheat. It. The sheep wants nothing to do with me. <laughs> it doesn't. Uh, same goes for chickens. Same goes for cows. Um, for whatever reason, they don't follow you. Now, I heard in this part of this update, I'm yet to you know confirm this, but I heard as part of this update, uh, animals don't uh, what you call despawn. Where if you get them inside your gate, you know they you get them inside your little fenced area, they won't leave that area. Yeah. I'm not positive. I don't think we can breed just yet, but um, this update isn't everything we would hope to be, but it's a it's a great improvement, I think. Um, I'm really excited about the whole idea. It's like all different little things like the vines right here on the trees. And as you can see, this cow wants nothing to do with me or my wheat. Um, but just the little things that are gonna make this a lot more fun. Uh, me personally, I like doing so. Like I said many times, I like to do hardcore survival, which is what I do on my Let's Play channel. And so when I'm doing that, now it's gonna be a lot more interesting because there's a whole bunch of different stuff in the game. There's the hunger element. There's a whole bunch of or not whole bunch. But there's a couple new kinds of mobs. There's ravines now. Uh, there's strongholds and villages that randomly pop on. It's kind of a cool thing. But now we're gonna talk about something that a lot of you guys may be interested in would be uh, creative mode here in Minecraft. So well, you can fly. That's a cool thing. I think people like the idea to fly. I'm also using super flat. I have the option for super flat on. So I'm gonna fly up in the sky and just kind of look around. But uh, one of the cool things about creative mode, if this is your thing, is the world is your digital sandbox. You can do whatever you want. You have unlimited resources of every possible resource in the game. Uh, actually, not everything. There are no spawn eggs quite yet. So the, you can't like build yourself a farm and then spawn a bunch of like pigs and other stuff in there. That just doesn't work that way. But like I said, you look, you're looking at the inventory right here. There's a bunch of different stuff you can do. You can grab all sorts of different shenanigans and you can build to your heart's content. Um, how many of you have played Fortress Craft? Before I played Minecraft, I played Fortress Craft. And in Fortress Craft, jeez, um, that place was huge. We had a football field, we had a baseball field, we had a hockey rink, we had an entire city, we had a uh, police station, fire station, we had everything man we did and that's just because you know you can go around you can build wherever you want it's kind of a cool thing so if that's kind of your thing I mean look at this I mean I just did this really quickly just for the sake of having it in the video I built Nero with glowstone and on a jack o lantern wall with a TNT house with a bunch of cake and melons and redstone or it, you can build wherever you want. You can do whatever you want with uh, creative mode. But uh, that's basically my video for you guys today. I wanted to let you guys know, hey, the update is out. There are all it is pretty cool, but there's not everything that we wished it would be. But it's kind of a cool thing. Um, I like I said, the, you know, I do this on my Let's Play channel. This is not a Minecraft channel. Nerf Cinema is a Call of Duty channel. So if you guys would like to see some playthroughs, actually, we're gonna be doing a full-on playthrough of uh, 1.8.2 on my Let's Play channel, and as well as Borderlands 2, as well as Left 4 Dead, as well as Pokemon Yellow. Lots of different games on Nerf's Let's Play. So if you guys want to check that out, there's a link in the description there's also it's also in my sub box and whatnot so you guys go ahead and check that out uh once again i would like to thank you all for taking time out of your day to watch my stuff that definitely means the world to me uh let me know what you guys think about the update have a great day guys i was banging seven grand rocks that's how i roll i got one gecko are you bipolar i'm bipolar